Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Campus News. This is a roundup of stories that made headlines on the various university campuses. Coming up, family holds final funeral rites for the late Jennifer Nyakun, a final year student who died after falling from the fourth floor of her hall of residence here at the University of Ghana. Also, senior lecturer at the School of Information and Communication Studies expresses displeasure at the limitation of access to some websites on campus by the University of Ghana Computing Systems. We have details of these stories in a moment. Thank you for joining us for our coverage of news from the University of Ghana. I am David Ni Lati Lati. The news now in detail to our first story and a senior lecturer at the School of Information and Communication Studies, Dr. Evelyn McQuay, has expressed his pleasure at the, at the limitation of access to some website here on campus by the University of Ghana Computing System. Now, weeks ago, the UGCS rolled out an initiative where users could only be allowed access to the video sharing website YouTube after 5 p.m. But speaking at the inter-college lecture series at the Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research, Dr. Mark lamented that the relevance of these websites far outweigh the negative for which reasons and the embargo has been implemented. She was speaking under the theme, the use of course website to enhance face-to-face -face instruction, a study of student perception. To some other stories here on campus and the chairman of the Electoral Commission of the Student Representative Council, King Nyamado Godwin says, the commission will maintain the 70% pass mark for the vetting of SRC aspirants this year. According to him, the 70% pass mark is in no way intended to disqualify certain people, but only aimed at presenting students with the best alternatives. Kenny Nyamada further dismissed accusations which arrived among members of the General Assembly to the effect that the legal advisor was demanding payment for his services. Meanwhile, voting for this year's SLC election here at the University of Ghana will be held manually, unlike last year. Let's now do some political stories now where a political scientist, Dr. Evans Agridako, has noted that there is no constitutional limitation on the number of ministers the president can appoint. He made this statement following the recent appointment of ministers by President Nana Adudankwa Ekufadu that increased his total number of ministers to 110, making his government the largest since independence. Dr. Abidako pines that a large government is a panacea for corruption and therefore commended the setting up of the policy and evaluation ministry to exercise oversight responsibility within the body politic. Let's now return to one of our headline stories where the final funeral rite have been held for the late Jennifer Nyakun, the final year consumer science student who died here at the University of Ghana last Wednesday. Just as you may be aware, here so with the University of Ghana community when a final year consumer science student and resident of the Equafo Hall Annex A reportedly jumped from the fourth floor of her hall of residence. Now, Genovese News can report authoritatively that Jennifer Nyakun has finally been buried. The ceremony was attended by faculty members of the university, students, sympathizers, as well as family members. <laughs> And that's it for today's edition of Campus News on Genovese TV. A look again at our headline stories and family whose final funeral rites for the late Jennifer Nyakun, the final year student who met her untimely death after falling from the fourth floor of her hall of residence here at the University of Ghana. Meanwhile, senior lecturer at the School of Information and Communication Studies expresses displeasure at the limitation of access to some websites on campus by the University of Ghana Computing Systems. Many thanks for your company. I am David Ni Lati Lati. Thanks for watching.